Hey guys, Tim here from Droid Life. Um, yesterday on Saturday, Nova Launcher, which is a third party launcher on Android, which we at Droid Life have been using for quite some time. I know if there's like a launcher that is our go to for me and Kellen, it's definitely Nova. So if you haven't tried Nova out, try it out. Uh, like I said, yesterday received an update to version 2.1, and inside there are a few features which, of course, we always think should have been there, but nevertheless, nevertheless, they are there now, so we will um, give you a quick little overview of what's new. Firstly and foremost, um, the ability to change individual icons uh, to, say, a different icon um, is there now. Thank the Lord! So basically, say you had an icon that didn't really go with your theme very well. For example, the first one I see is, like, Internet. It does not match very well. I mean, the icon, like, the look is supposed to kind of fill up the whole thing. There's not supposed to be some type of... Uh, border around it. That's just annoying. So, to change that, it's as easy as long pressing and then holding it and you'll see it's going to be going over your home screen now, but just drag it up to edit. And once we get there, from here we can click on the icon itself and then we're going to be taken into um, a new UI, which is it's new for Nova. Um, basically, you can switch by swiping what gallery of icons you want to choose from. So, I'm using the Stark icon theme. So, uh, my knowledge of this icon theme, I know that all I have to do is I have to just scroll way down here to find the right icon to match the theme. And there it is. So there's that new uh, internet icon theme from Stark. I just hit on it, and then it's, I can see that it's right there now. I go boom, and then miraculously, like magic, it has changed to that icon that I, I wanted. So the ability to do that for any icon you see, if it doesn't match, or say you just want to use something different, say I don't want a green messaging one, I want a purple one, you can do that now. Um, and that's great. <laughs> yeah, next one, say you have a folder in your app drawer. Um, for example, I got contacts, app, app, flashlight. If I want that folder on my home screen, I can do that now. All I have to do is long press, boom, and there it is. Totally workable. And what's great, what's kind of new is that I won't lose the context, so it's not going to leave there. It's going to stay right there. It's just going to like make multiple if I have to, but it's still right there in my app drawer. So, boom. Another thing that is different, the look of the wallpaper picker itself is different. So, um, it used to kind of be what kind of like a regular thing, if that makes sense. So, it would pop up a like a pop-up menu, then you would choose of which uh, wallpaper packs you would want to choose from. And then it would take you into the apps interface. Nova has its own interface now. So say if I want to change my wallpaper from this classy thing, I can just long press, um, hit wallpapers, and then boom. So it's going to populate um, the wallpapers that are inside each wallpaper pack that I have. So here's the uh, wallpapers for Stark, and again, I swipe across to check out all the other wallpapers from the different packs. So there's Tursus, I can get to my live wallpapers, I can get to, um, so here's the apps themselves, and then I can get to the stock wallpapers and all that good stuff. So say I just want to change it up, maybe something a little bit more bright, something from Tursus, and boom, there it is, that easy to change. Um, another one. If your phone or your custom ROM allows it, you can now have a transparent notification bar. I know before this update rolled out and I was using Nova, the Galaxy S4 had a black bar along the top, which was just a real UI downer buzzkill. But now that I can toggle the transparent mode, that is sweet. And uh, to access that transparent mode, I just go in here, I go into Nova settings. There's easier, way of, easier ways of accessing the settings, but that's the way I do it, it's just have it. And then I go under look and feel, and then all the way at the bottom, transparent notification bar. And like it says, this will only work if your system software ROM supports it and allows third-party apps to use it. So, if you're lucky enough to have the GS4 and have the look of that transparent bar, it's really sweet. Um, man, besides that, there's not too much going on. Of course, always more like optimizations and bug fixes. But nevertheless, so the ability to change individual icons in the app drawer is a huge plus. There's a new UI for the wallpaper picker, and that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, yeah, if you have any more questions or want to check it out, find it on Google Play or hit us up at Droid Life. Peace.